The title of this poster is Making AT Solutions for Art and Music, made by Therese Wilkham, PhD, ATP. The first image is a drum that is mounted to a manual wheelchair. This drum is about three inches high by 15 inches wide and the brackets that are secured to the left and right side of the wheelchair are made out of three quarter inch lock line attached to a 90 degree elbow, attached to a three inch mounting disc, attached to a rapid strap kit around the perimeter of this drum and the same arm is on the left side. So the person sits in the chair and the drum can be positioned at the optimum position for interacting with this drum. The text on this image says, drum is secured to the disc using Velcro brand, rapid strap and industrial hook. Dual arm is made with three quarter inch lock line, elbow and three inch fixed mount. There's an arrow pointing to mart mounting arm is secured to the wheelchair with Velcro brand one wrap. The next image is two mounting arms made of two quick grip bar clamps that have about 30 inches of three quarter inch lock line that allows a device called beams for making music to be cantilevered um, over in the desired position. Both mounting arms are secured to a hospital bed tray that can be raised and lowered. And this was designed for a woman who had quadruple amputations in a hospital bed to be able to move her residual arms in space to break four laser beams that when you break the beams, an instrument is activated so that she can create music. There are two QR codes on this image and that leads to a video describing it. it. The video is two minutes and 38 seconds. And another one that QR code that says Beams Interactive Music. The text on this image says for tools and materials needed to build this, please refer to the page double arm mount in the AAC chapter nine on page 147 and page 23. And it, the title says creating an adjustable mount for beams. So beams is an app that is on an iPad and a physical device that attaches to the arms using two three inch mounting discs on the left and right. So beams is about two feet wide by 12 inches tall. And it is positioned here horizontally rather than resting on a desk that it normally does. And somebody just moves their hands. But because the woman has quadruple amputations and is laying in a hospital bed, beams has to be mounted in a, such a position so that her residual limbs on her left and right arms can then um, go through the laser beams to activate the four different instruments. The next image is a person holding a 17 inch industrial twist tie on the table. There is a half inch CPVC T joint with a clothespin inserted. And then in the jaws of that clothespin is a pen. On the table is a sponge paint brush that is inserted into a three quarter inch piece of half inch CPVC pipe and Instamorph. There is a clothespin on the table that is inserted into a three quarter inch piece of CPVC pipe. 
and there is also a stylus that is inserted into a three-quarter inch piece of half-inch CPV sight pipe. There's a spoon. There is a pen that is inserted into a two-inch wire clothespin. And the text on this says at least four different objects fit into a T-joint that can be combined with an industrial twist tie to create a multi-use holding solution for grasping impairments. The T-joint slides over the industrial twist tie and the industrial twist tie can be wrapped around the person's hand, wrist, and forearm to the desired angle and position. There are two QR codes on here. One QR code says four things that fit into a T-joint. The video is two minutes and 38 seconds. And then the second QR code says 17 inch industrial twist tie. It's a link to where to find that twist tie. And then underneath the image says spoons, styluses, pens, paintbrush, marker, and more to fit into T-joints at that can then be positioned at any angle. The next image shows a pop socket with the top part extended upward and bent at about a 45 degree angle. On top of the pop socket is, it looks like a stress ball in the shape of a star. And then in the center of this star that is about three inches by um, two inches thick. A pen is poking through this star at a 45 degree angle. You can see the tip of the pen coming through and the text on this image says a pop socket has been added to the bottom. This achieves the desired angle as well as gliding easily across the paper. So the person's hands fit onto the index finger and thumb and ring finger fits into the cavities on the outside of this squishy star. And the star that's mounted on the pop socket, the pop socket slides and glides across the paper. So it is a, a writing aid for drawing, painting, if you have a hard time holding on to um, a drawing or utensil. Then the text under that says, pen is poked through the hole at 45 degree angle. The next image shows a person sitting in a manual wheelchair with um, two arm mounts holding that drum that has the Velcro brand rapid strap kit that attaches to the two mounting arms using a three inch mounting disc with industrial hook portion of Velcro on the inside. And the mounting arms are made of 90 degree elbows plus about uh, 20 segments of three quarter inch lock line. There are two arrows on this image. One arrow is pointing to using industrial hook and loop strap around the 15 inch drum. The other arrow is pointing to mounting drum for wheelchair and making music. Three quarter inch lock line fixed mounting discs on both sides. There's a QR code on this image that says binder clip and rubber band for creating music. The video is 41 seconds. The person's right hand has a universal cuff around their palm. Their hand is uh, facing downward horizontally on top of the drum and a binder clip that's attached to a rubber band that is attached to the universal club cuff is dangling. So the person is dragging the binder clip across the drum to make music. The next image shows a person holding a drumstick that is inserted into a 17 inch industrial twist tie that is wrapped around the person's hand and wrist. There's a QR code on this image that says universal cuff plus industrial twist tie for drumming and the video is 52 seconds. The 
This picture says inserting twist tie into a T joint and filling the three quarter inch piece of pipe with Instamorph and inserting a paintbrush. And so it shows the T joint around the industrial twist tie and holding the paintbrush into the palm of the hand and the industrial twist tie is then wrapped around the backside of their hand and wrist for somebody with a grasping impairment that can't hold a paintbrush. The next image is a gentleman holding an Apple pencil that is inserted inside of a 17 inch industrial twist tie that is wrapped around and extended so that it will slide over his hand so that he can do all of his artwork drawing on an iPad um, to accommodate for his grasping impairment. There is a QR code that leads to a video that says Apple Pencil Adapter. Video is 1 minute and 19 seconds. The next image is two drums that are secured to a person sitting in the chair and it's secured to their left thigh and their right thigh. These horizontal drums are slid into a track made of corner guard and corrugated plastic box. The drum thickness is about three quarters of an inch and the drum circumferences are about 10 inches. The person is holding a drumstick in the left hand and the right hand and demonstrating on how you can do drumming if you can't physically hold a drum in one hand. So it's a hands-free drumming mount using the person's thighs. The mount is made of Velcro brand one wrap. The next image shows a tabletop push down scissor platform and the scissors is slid in horizontally into a platform made of corrugated plastic. The bottom blade of the scissors is recessed into a slit. The top blade is above the platform so that the paper can slide in. The push down tabletop scissors has a three inch by two inch handle that requires somebody to just pump up and down. It is a spring-loaded scissors. The next image shows a tactile overlay for the iPad and there is a QR code that says tactile overlay video two minutes and 27 seconds and it has the raised strings above the app called GarageBand on the iPad. A person is holding the iPad at about a 60 degree angle. The transparency film that has the raised lines that match up with the raised strings on the guitar app is secured to the iPad using Remo One, which is permanent on one side and removable on the other so that the overlay can be easily removed from the glass on the iPad. This last image of the it is on this poster says tubular fastener to hold a drum and the video is two minutes and seven seconds. It has two mounting arms um, holding the drum. At the bottom of the poster, it says University of New Hampshire Institute on Disability with the UNH Shield. 18 and H is funded under the provision of the Administration for Community Living ACL through grant number 2401 NHATSG.